In a world where NFTs are booming, this is Non-Fungible Talkin'. We cover drops, pack breaks, and fun stuff in the world of NFTs. Hey collectors, just another quick NFT review. Uh, this one's a bit time sensitive and I'll get to why in a sec. So this is primarily for people in the VV community. One of the VV whales, a guy by the name of Brock McBlockchain, He's been on TAP's Trades channel a few times and he's got some really good insights into trading and everything else. But anyway, he has his own project and it's called Features. And there's talk that they're going to be part of Caloscope, which uh, Caloscope's a different project, as well as Vivi. And there's also talk that Features will actually include other artists as well. Anyway, this has been out for a while, but the reason I'm bringing it up now is there's actually a deal going on at the moment uh, just announced on Twitter. So if we go over to Twitter, we have our Brock's uh, account here. And he says that one fish holder under 1,000 with less than 50 left will get a VV sign for your tank. So it's going to be out when they get the 1,000 mark. So there's a limit of one per wallet, which says to me that every person who buys a fish will get one of these. And these are the same packs that go out when you've got an influencer, so a person who does lots of Vivi videos. So you have a plaque there or a sticker signed by Dan and David. You have some acrylic signs, so a clear one there and a one with logo colours, as well as a lit sign and a bunch of t-shirts and stickers and things. There's a fair few videos online of people doing unboxings of these, but they're pretty cool. And I thought... Well, I've been watching fiches for a long time and there's good potential there maybe. So I went ahead and bought a couple of fiches. So none of this is financial advice and I would say this particular project is more about fun. It's not about money. In thinking a bit more about this too, it mainly means that people get a logo for their tank, as in a digital thing, and one person will get a box in the mail so it'd be interesting to see which one it is but really who knows so just think about that if you are going to look into this project uh, if we go over to my tank so I bought two because they say you should buy more than one and the other thing is too that you can actually interact with your fish uh, if I get out of full screen here which I think I'm in you can go over to our fish communicator and we've got uh, two here so I already communicated with this fish. So we'll go back to the tank. But in any event, you can change how they work. So this particular interaction, I think I pet my fish and what it does is it slowed down slightly and it's swimming. I understand that these fish can actually perish and then they become ghost fish or skeleton fish. Uh, I don't fully understand that one. But anyway, getting back to the original reason for this video was uh, if these are given away under 1,000, so they'll do a drop of an NFT that allows you to redeem one of these, presuming that's actually what this tweet means and they're not just giving away one physical copy to a fish holder and logos to everyone else as an airdrop, just digital. I don't know if there's shipping involved, there probably is. We need to get under 1,000. So if we go over to the OpenSea collection, I'll drop a link to this in the description below, but we can see the number minted. And I do feel this is accurate because it was 956 and then I minted two and then uh, went up by two and these are my two here. So I'd say this number is accurate and if you can get under 1,000, you can then potentially get an NFT drop, which will allow you to get one of these packs. No guarantees here, but I would say it's pretty accurate. I would assume there's a shipping cost, but I really don't know. With this project, uh, if you read more about it, which you should do, which is on this website here, you can see what it's about. You can see a tank here and we've got a couple of fish inside uh, with different things. now. Some of these are based on airdrops that have already occurred. So the longer you hold your fish and you don't sell them, the more airdrops you'll get. Now this is for up to 24 months. Uh, what airdrops will I get? So you can uh, read a bit about that. Tank add-ons, treasure maps, 
and other things but yeah there's been a bunch of airdrops already and I obviously won't get those I'll just get this uh, and that will happen after they get over 1000 so as I say we've still got a few left there yeah so if you were thinking of buying into features this is the time to do it I would say I don't know how much these kind of packs are worth but it'll be interesting to see when they go on open sea so over here if I just do a search for features there's uh, airdrops here uh, with any of this stuff you always want to verify that it's the right one I haven't checked this because I haven't been involved with this project yet but these are the types of things that you can get so you can get a little uh, DJ octopus and other stuff so these are different months of airdrops that you get uh, who knows in the future these won't necessarily have any higher value than they have now it's really just a bit of a fun project and it's more being part of a community that particularly VV people are involved with. I understand that there is some connection between this and Caloscope. Uh, I may do another video on Caloscope. I don't fully understand it completely, but I don't know a huge amount about it. I do have a diamond pass and a gold pass for that one, but I understand it's more around creating a VR environment for your NFTs. Uh, these are the first non-utility NFTs that I bought on the Ethereum network and I think the gas fees were about $25 when I minted these on top of the fees of the fish themselves. So it actually was a bit low at that time uh, and you know, kind of worth doing for me at the time. But anyway, who knows what will happen with this. Hopefully you will you know, get airdropped once they go over 1000 I would assume they would. But... I wouldn't be investing in this project to make big gains. There's other ways to do that. It's getting a bit more difficult at the moment, but yeah, it's just a cool project that has a pretty fun community behind it and particularly some VV whales and other people. Anyway, that's all for this video. As always, if you'd like to subscribe, please do so, and we'll catch you next time.